Am I ready? No. But maybe I am. Kabang. So, it's a middle versus uh, 24914. And they're playing on Battlefield. Let's see uh, what they can do. We've been treated to some amazing Robin play so far by 24914. And some amazing wolf play from. Um, from uh, from Moodle. So going by the only information available, the Lost versus BJ Wolf, uh, a, a player who she outplays by quite a bit, and she might uh, find Wolf a difficult matchup. And it does strike me as a matchup that will probably be difficult for Robin. So let's find out. Every time she wants to thunder, Moodle is there with a Wolf Blaster. Oh, ho, ho, double back air. He wants it. And there's a forward smash. The forward smash that sounds like he got a discard message. Just listen closely next time he does a forward smash. You get like this little pop that sounds just like a discard message. Looks like Moodle has uh, decisively taken the lead now. Still, Robin has some very strong aerials, and there's the L Thunder. So this might still be very doable. Four, two, four, now, and four. And just as I say that, she lands a beautiful left in there. I think she needs only one more to seal out the first hook. Yes, just as I say that, she gets the left and four there. Beautiful stuff. And now Moodle has to fight Romadev. Firewolf straight down. Interesting option. Probably super unsafe, but you know who, who's gonna expect something like that? Got yeah, a pretty pretty good reaction time. If you wanna, uh, if you wanna you know, mess with that. So Moodle evening up the stock count only 40% on him so far. That's a pretty good result since uh, it can be a little bit difficult to uh, force a KO on a character like Robin with uh, some fantastic hitboxes and projectors to keep you out. Got more 11 aerials from 24914. Doing a great job blocking out Moodle's approaches. But now she's at the ledge. Bold move by Moodle, that particular up smash. You know, a little too bold, I guess, because it did not work out. Still, both parties very, very even. We've got Moodle off stage. Now, how is Moodle uh, gonna be trapped? He is not. I suppose 24914 gave him just a little too much space. And you don't want to give your opponents too much space. You know? It's a delicate balance. Oh no, that's a big SD by Moodle, no doubt. Uh, he did not need to die right there. He did not need to use uh, his second stock. And now only one remains. 24149. I mean, 24914. Still. Uh, alive, still sitting pretty on that second stock. How long can she hold on to it though? Because she is at 125 and Wolf has some powerful aerials, like I said before. That's not enough. And that's a Nosferatu! Look at that, that's like 20 to 30 percent that he just got, you know, annihilated, taken from Mudo and added to the health of 24914. If that hadn't happened, he totally would have lost his stock to that particular forward tilt. So, oh yes, 24914 with the Nosferatus looking so clean. But there's no amount of healing. Well, I suppose there always is an amount of healing that can save you, but no amount of Nosferatus is gonna save you from powerful moves like Wolf Flash if you're at 150. Really though. Still, those Nosferatus, those big plays by 24914, have, uh, have put her in a really big lead. And Moodle, man, he is struggling a little. He is struggling a little. Using a lot more blaster, a lot more of these guaranteed combos. I think he knows that he can't really afford to get hit much more. Up the ledge, 
It's the laser. Laser and reflector can be pretty difficult to deal with as a particular character like Robin, but yet another Nosferatu because everybody wants to shield the 11 aerials and that's when the Nosferatu comes out. Beautiful play by Robin as he says always three steps ahead. That's a 1-0. That's a 1-0. Is 24914 a player I did not know previously gonna come out of nowhere and win the shirt? Yeah, that's cool, uh, Amy. That's cool, just tell me in real life, Amy. <laughs> I like I like the tag change though, you know. Pico was cute though, but um, it was a cute tag, it was a good tag, but tags that are an existing fictional character in some kind of media, you know, just literally that. Always get uh, an automatic minus one for me on how cool the tag is, total. Because uh, man, I, I like the personalization and it doesn't feel very personal like uh, when you when you pick a predetermined fictional character. Anyway, that's my thoughts on it, you know. Everything's subjective in terms of... Uh, Um, I think you mean reserve, but you know nobody getting replaced. Anyway, we're getting back to grand finals. It's two four nine one four. Who is up by one? Oh, let me switch that scoreboard around. That's a little mistake. That's a little mistake. Can happen, you know. And in the start, they're only using projectors anyway. I hear a lot of wolf blaster. And it looks like we are on a Lilat Cruise. I love this stage, it's so beautiful. It's no longer broken. And this is a really good stage now, actually. And I'm happy we got it in here. Because Star Fox is uh, aesthetically really, really nice on the eyes. It doesn't tire. So uh, it's wonderful that we can have a legal stage like uh, Lilac Cruise. coming out. Oh, and a reflex from Moodle. Smart stuff. Yeah, there it is. Okay, okay. Now we see why Moodle has, um, has elected this stage. It is much, much harder to place your arc fires on the ledge uh, due to the downward slopes. A lot harder. So that's really good news. For, uh, for Moodle. Because that was one of the things that was really, really bringing down Moodle in game one. The ledge traps with the arc fire, arc fire to 11 aerials in general did a big number on him. And uh, of course one thing that we really haven't seen a follow up to yet here in, uh, in game two. And that's the use of Nosferatu. Nosferatu ate him alive in game one. It really did. It really, really did. And so far, 24904 has not been using too much of it. Not been using too much Nosferatu. Whereas compared to, uh, especially near the end in game one, he was just, just rolling there, just Nosferatu, Nosferatu, Nosferatu. And there it is, there it is. She was left in percent, but she managed to take the stock before Moodle did the same. Unfortunately, that even stock count is not gonna last for long. Instant run upstairs from Moodle is gonna put him back in the lead, firmly. Nosferatu missing in Mark, that's rare. More smash text coming out from Moodle. He's feeding himself. There's the 
arc fire, no follow up unfortunately, 42914. She needs to be very, very consistent if she still wants to have a shot at taking this game. More lasers, more lasers. It looks like Mudel is uh, pretty okay with taking it easy because there's always a chance he gets to reflect the Elf Thunder and the Wolf Blaster is actually transcendent. So if he gets a projectile out and 24914 is the same, they're gonna trade. You know, Robin's gonna take the Blaster, Mudel's gonna take the, the, the Thunder, but that's all fine as long as you have a nice lead. Which is exactly what Moodle has. And a beautiful back air from Moodle. As we saw him use a lot early in tournaments, gonna sit it out. That's a convincing, convincing 1-1. One, one. I hope to see 24914 go to a match with, uh, of course, uh, straight edges. Because these slants are not good for Robin specifically because of the, the arc fire traps that are significantly harder. Or even just flat out missing on light at cruise. Um, and I want to see... Uh, him go to um, a stage that does not have too many platforms. I feel like these platforms on Lilith, especially those low to the ground platforms, really allowed um, Moodle to properly move around the arc fires and uh, the elf thunders in order to get Robin and avoid, you know, taking these stray hits. So here we are, 1-1 one, one, and on Town and City, it's a middle versus 2-4-9-1-4. And they're duking it out for who's going to be the winner of Ultimate Net Metal Series number 13. Of course the winner gets the t-shirt too. So far, it looks like 24914 has found her groove bag. But now she has stepped in the corner and Moodle takes the lead. He does so much damage when he's got people there. Of course, you do need to be very careful of those 11 aerials from the legs. They have a huge hitbox speed out of almost anything. Just very, very hard to do. Even the frame that uh, is, is not so bad. Only due to the transforming mechanics. Small blast is coming out from middle. Oh, that's an SD! Trying to catch a roll back, not happening. Looks like Moodle is now building a small lead, but he jumps in once too early and he instantly gets a pretty hard punish for it. But now he has 24904 two, two, where he wanted her in the corner. That's where Moodle has been doing so much damage. Reflects the L Thunder. Nah, that's not going to be it. Not going to be it. Oh, look at these grab ranges in this game. <laughs> these grab ranges are so small. So small. That's the dash attack. No stock just yet. Oh, wow, wow. Moodle 
seeing it coming, the jump Thorn reflecting it. Unfortunately for him, he did not actually get to hit 24914 with it. But still, pretty good, you know. It's um, at that particular distance, it's a lot less of a commitment than an air dodge, and it, uh, it does protect you from the Thorn, so that was a good play. But uh, 24914 has uh, been an amazing job surviving. And even though Real has sniffed the set lead, there he gets the dash attack for the stock lead as well. But uh, you know, once you both get into 120 plus territory, the percent really still mattering. So I suppose that was the idea behind the play from 24914. Let's see if she can replicate it here on the last stock. Yeah, she might, she might have to uh, rely on it a little, you know. Yeah, she's taking a lot of damage right here. Nosferatu even missing his mark, but an ill-advised jump inwards is gonna be met by the Levin Sword. And that leaves both of the players at their final stock. Mudel looking a little bit healthier than 24914. But anything could happen. And if 24914 does make it happen, then we'll have a bracket reset, everybody. But that's not gonna happen because Moodle finds the down smash, and that means that he is your winner for Net Battle Series number 13 as he takes home the t shirt.